Hi guys, it is Christmas Eve today. I wasn't planning on filming a video, but my new planner arrived in the post today and I really wanna get started and get into it and start planning next year. But I wanted to share it with you guys, so that's why I'm sitting down and filming a little video. It's gonna be super laid back. I know that I haven't filmed a video in a month or something. <laughs> um, I feel like that's how I'm starting a lot of my videos recently. I've just not been on the ball with it. I've been focused so much on my Patreon and trying to get ahead with that because in short, where I'm at in life at the moment is I'm trying to stabilise this as my job um, so I can eventually move out again in the future. I've been going back and forward in my head <laughs> on whether to get a normal job um, and give up all of this and then kind of flopping back to the fact that this is what I love doing and I'm lucky to have this as some sort of income. I'm just trying to get like my ducks in a line. I feel like I've said that so much this year. <laughs> um, but that's basically it, is I'm just trying to get things like I'm having to work a bit harder um, and put a few things on the back burner whilst I focus on other things. So right now for Patreon, I have managed to get like a few months in advance sorted. So I'm feeling a bit less stressed with that and a bit more stable in that sense. So hopefully I'll have more time to film some videos. But anyway, that's a little bit of a ramble. Um, but I thought I'd mention it because that is why I've been a bit MIA on my channel. In terms of my planner for 2021, um, I'm going to be using a passion planner. This is a planner I've never used before. I have been for the whole of 2020 in this Leustrom. I don't want to say bullet journaling because it's not bullet journaling. Um, I would say it's list planning, <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it. It's really quite messy, I've just been sticking random stickers in that I've like got with clothes and stuff. Um, I'm not going to go through this in depth because it is so messy um, and there's a lot of personal stuff in here. I've had this page as like my list and planning page and this has just kind of been a brain dump every single week. So it's been like an ongoing list on this side of things I need to get done and then brain dump. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, that I'm not wanting to put online particularly, but it has definitely helped me get through 2020 um, and stay somewhat on track, <laughs> despite everything that is going wrong in the world. Um, yeah, I have managed, this has definitely, definitely helped me. I've used a Loistrum in the past, more as a bullet journal, but this year I figured that I just needed something to jot things down in and have somewhere where it all stays, rather than having separate bits of paper all over the place. My mum's currently hoovering downstairs. This I think is one of the reasons why I find it so hard to film videos now. I've gone from having the house to myself when I lived up north and being able to film whenever I wanted to having to put like an announcement out to my family that I'm filming a video <laughs> rather than just spontaneously filming because this is a spontaneous video. I didn't plan to film this video. These arrived today. I want to get into it so I thought I might as well film. I haven't told my family I'm filming and there's hoovering and crashing and banging going on below me. <laughs> this is why I'm struggling. I'm definitely struggling and why I need to get my butt out of this house and move out. I've been using this Loistrum pretty much all year. I didn't intend on using it all year. I kind of went and started using it at the start of the year, thinking that by <laughs> mid 2020, I might have found a different planner that I might swap over to, but then obviously 2020 kind of just went kaput and <laughs> so I just carried on with what I had. Um, but using this and using such a like free spread, I suppose, like it's not structured at all, it's just a blank notebook. It has definitely made me realise what I want from a planner and what I wanted to use in 2021. So yeah, definitely recommend if you're kind of stuck on what planning system to use, just start using a notebook to plan. You end up like scribbling and drawing things in there that you might need. I had like a little habit tracker thing that I drew in at the bottom on some of the weeks and I realised that that's something I, I could definitely use in a planner. It just helped me realise what I needed. Um, so I had a good old research. Oh, my battery's going, hold on. <laughs> I did a bit of research around like September, October time for the different planners that were out there. I knew I wanted something a bit bigger than A5. I do enjoy A5 size. It's handy to have in a bag and stuff, but obviously <laughs> that made no difference in 2020 because it did not leave the house. So yeah, the size is handy, but I wanted something a bit bigger for planning things out and kind of 
navigating my work life and personal life in one planner. This was fine for that, but to an extent it just kind of got a bit cramped. I had heard of the Passion Planner before. A couple of my friends have used it in the past and I've seen them like in the flesh. I've just never really looked into them like in depth. My friend Sam is an ambassador for them. So I could ask her basically any and every question I had <laughs> about the Passion Planner. Um, and they obviously had a Black Friday sale and stuff on. So she was ordering from them and I said, could you grab me the dated rose gold one in the middle size? So it's a bit bigger than A5, but it's smaller than A4. And she said, of course, and I was gonna pay her back and everything. And then she said to me, happy Christmas. Here is your planner and also here's some extra things. So thank you so much, Sam. I am gonna leave her link. I think she got an affiliate link, possibly a discount code. Like I said, she's an ambassador for Passion Planner. So I'm gonna leave her information below. It's not mine, I won't benefit from it. But if you do end up buying anything from Passion Planner through her links, then she will benefit from that. I think I only asked her for the planner and the tabs. Possibly, I can't remember. We spoke about sticker books. I honestly can't remember, but she definitely sent me more than I had originally asked for. So yeah, I think I'm still gonna have to mark this video as an ad because I'll have her links in the description. I don't know how this, I don't know how it works, but I'm gonna just cover my butt and put ad in the title <laughs> just in case. I don't want the ad people coming after me. But yeah, that's that's the reason I went for Passion Planner in the end. I was able to ask the questions I had straight up with Sam. I'm kind of a little bit annoyed because it did come in a yellow color last year and they discontinued that this year. So, so I went for the rose gold color um, it is a floppy, it's a floppy planner. It's a, like, what would you call it? It's a chunk of a planner, <laughs> but it's not hardback or anything like that. It is a floppy, big planner. So she sent me the planner. She sent me the tabs. She has also sent me a multi-pen. <gasps> oh, is it one of these ones where you just turn it continuously and it does different? It is, oh my goodness, okay. Oh, I was about to say I don't have paper. Mm, I have my planner sitting here. <laughs> Let me, I'm gonna have to do all this. This is probably one of the most unstructured videos I've ever posted. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm all over the place. It's Christmas Eve, can you blame me? Ooh, that's blue. Okay. Oh, it's kind of like a biro. I don't know why I thought it'd be gel. Oh, it is kind of, oh, I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell if it's, I think it's like a biro, like it's coming out a bit biro -y. but she sent me, where'd they go, these, I don't know if they're gel or if they're biro, I know they're black, I'll have to figure that out, I feel like this is 0.38 in there, just from the feeling of how thin the pen is, but these ones are 0.5, I'll have a proper play with it at some point, I don't want to put this in here yet, because I want to put the tabs on the planner, whoa, the back pocket is like silk, Oh, it's got stuff inside it. How did I not realise this before? I am all over the place. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be such a difficult video to edit because I'm just, just jumping from one thing to another. She sent me two of their sticker books as well, which I saw these and I looked through them and I was like, mm, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Because I have so many stickers, but also all oh my God stickers and they were such pretty stickers as well. And also like money. I was trying to, you know, curb my money spending a little bit um because the main thing i wanted was obviously the planner the practical part but yeah she sent me two sticker books as well as the planner and the monthly tabs and the pen <sighs> thank you sam <laughs> thank you so so much i think the point of the passion planner is it's obviously a practical planner but it has sections in the front which are like planning your goals and stuff so for 2021 one of my main things is to continue <laughs> to get on top of things with my work but i have realized that my I don't want to say issue, it's not a massive issue, but my, where I lack <laughs> with my planning and doing this as a job is the management. I'm pretty good at managing myself. I'm not so good at like, here's a ton of tasks in loads of different areas, organise it. You know? <laughs> For that, I was just writing a brain dump and going, okay, what needs to be done as soon as possible and what can I just wait for another week or so? which isn't the best way of planning. But hopefully with this, I'll be able to plan things out months in advance and give myself more of a timetable because I definitely work better when I have 
my plans and my week and my months and stuff just laid out in front of me. One of the other perks is it does lay flat as well, which is handy. Um, it's quite a chunk of a planner, so if it didn't lay flat, I would be a bit, a bit annoyed. But it does, it has like a nice, oh, come on camera, it's not that hard. It lays super flat, I'm super happy with that. So you have Monday to Sunday, which we love a Monday to Sunday, like a Monday start. It has times down the side, so you can split your day into chunks. Or if, like me, you're not very good at hourly planning, <laughs> um, you can use that more as like a to-do list, which for some days I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up using it like that. So it's just like a to-do list for each day, which obviously how I've been using my other planner, it's gonna be quite an easy crossover to this. But then if I do want to do hourly planning, it's there. Like if I wanna give myself a timetable for a week, I have the ability to. This is also dated, which for me, that's very out of my comfort zone. I'm used to undated planners because <laughs> the commitment and the stress if I miss a week is too much for me usually. This is a monthly spread. Um, again, nice big layout, it has nice big boxes. I tend to have multiple things happening on each day and I love again that it lies flat so I can have my whole month nice and flat in front of me. It has these extra boxes down the bottom which you've got personal projects, work projects. So I'm hoping that will help me manage a bit of my work. I feel like this is the most optimistic I am when I start a new planner is when I first get it and I'm like, yeah, it has all these things I might use, hopefully I will. And then <laughs> a few months later I'm like, I don't use them, but we'll see. It's good having them, and if not, I can just put stickers over them. It has a little mind map thing here, which I don't think I'll use as a mind map. Um, I'll probably put some sort of sticker or something over that, and then just use it as like, I don't know, a notes page or something. You've got a, this month's focus, people to see, places to go, and things to learn at the side as well. And then I think after the end, is it the end of each month? Yeah, at the end of each month, you have a monthly reflection bit. This is the thing that I'll probably struggle with. <laughs> Um, I just struggle in general with writing like lengthy things. I'm gonna really really try to stay on this, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. That's the one bit that I probably had most doubts for. But I thought if any year is gonna be the year where I might fill it in, it's probably gonna be 2021 because I'm definitely on the mindset of I need to move out of this house, I need to get my button gear, and I need to give it a good go. I'm hoping I'll be able to get a more healthier routine, like work routine, like ingrained into my mind. Yeah, at the back it does have a pocket, which I got excited about earlier. And in there, there's things, I think there's a sticker. A sticker that says, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to start. There's a little like print or card in the back that says, create the life you've always wanted. And on the back it has a bit of information about Passion Planner and the hashtag Pashfam, um, which I suppose I'm a part of now. I'm gonna pop them back in there for now. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a very casual look over the planner. I would describe it as a minimal planner in terms of like decoration, it's very plain. You know, you can add as much or as little as you want to it. But in terms of planning, it's more of an in-depth planner so you have like the option to do the hourly planning you have all the things at the front of the month and the end of the month like to plan and reflect i'm really hoping i'll be able to stick with it and have a bit of like reflection time each month but yeah i never know with my head there's a nice chunk of notes pages at the back as well which is handy i'm gonna stick these little tabs on um probably not the best idea to do whilst i'm knackered because i'm just but we're gonna do them because I wanna get started with this planner and start using it. I got the flush tabs, these I was gonna make my own. And then I was like, mm, time, faff, measuring. Let's just, let's just, we'll just get some ready-made ones that are ready to be put on this exact planner. There is ones that stick out, but I wanted ones that just kind of stayed flush with the pages. I just have January to December and then four little spare ones. Does it tell you how to put it on? I feel like there's a video, I might have to look on the video just to see how other people are doing it, just to make sure that I do it right. I'd love to know if any of you are using this planner for 2021. And which colour you went for, because I, I I kind of was tempted by the dark blue one which had birds on it, but I wanted something a bit lighter in colour, and I mean this one's pretty, it's rose gold, you can't really go wrong with rose gold. So yeah, I went for that one, but if you went for a different colour one, let me know. I don't know how easy it will be to get one of these now, obviously Sam bought them directly from Passion Planner. At the moment the UK has a incoming and outgoing 
mail ban for any international orders situation going on. So yeah, probably best to keep that in mind a bit. Um, where's the tabs? Monthly tabs. Oh, why is this not playing? Play. Why are you not playing? I'm not playing the how to stick your tabs on. I might just have to stick my tabs on. Let's go on YouTube. I'm so done. So done with 2020. I know that everyone's feeling the same way and like in the same boat. Um, but I get down and dippy around Christmas anyway, regardless of whether it's 2020 and Covid or whether it's just a normal happy year, like I really struggle around Christmas time. That's probably why I've come in here to be honest and film this because this makes me happy so <laughs> I'm just trying to stay on that happy cloud until tomorrow. <sighs> I don't know, it's hard. There's so many pressures around this time of year to be happy. Um, and it's difficult when that pressure's there because I know that I'm not alone with my brain going Oh, you're meant to be happy. Why do you feel so rubbish? Oh no, how do you fix that? I don't know. Ugh. That mindset's just horrible. Monthly taps. Yes, please. That's what I would like. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's just stick it on and make sure it's flush. I just want to see if they give any tips on <laughs> how to do it easier because I don't know. I think I just have that like new planner pressure where I'm like, ooh, I don't want to mess it up. See, they're the sticky out ones. Where's the sticky in ones? Not sticky in ones, what are they called? Flush ones. Monthly <laughs> taps, yes, please. Mm hmm, mm hmm. That's the ones. That's the ones I got. Please show me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gold, yeah. Rose gold, we know. Yeah. You're gonna actually show it? No, you're not. Oh, yeah, you are. Oh, no, that's the... No, it's not showing the flush ones. They're just showing the sticky out ones. <sighs> I can't bother. I'm just gonna stick them on. We're just gonna stick them on. I'm not gonna bother trying to find another video on how to do it. We're just gonna stick them on and hope that it's right. I think I'm gonna have to stick them like almost flush. Are you seeing, are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Right, so it's got this little gray bar at the top, which is obviously going along, it goes along the sides of all the months. Can you see it moving up there? It's going like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like some stairs. So this is obviously the January one. So this is the first page of January, I think. Hold on, let me just, probably best to just triple check that. Okay, yeah, that is the first page of January. So it's gonna stick on here, right? Right? Is that right? Yeah, because then that's January, 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 January. Yeah, and then that moves on to February, which is there. But here's my sticker, which is meant to be flush. So obviously the bend is meant to be over the page. But if I do, so if I do that, where it's meant to bend over the page is like there, but you can still kind of see some of this grey thing poking through and it kind of overlaps. I might have to stick it like very slightly out the page so it's kind of lumpy. Oh No, now I'm getting planner anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me find a picture of someone using the flush tabs. When I do a video usually I've, I've searched all this beforehand, like I've done this stressing part beforehand so I can just give you a nice informative video. But today we're all over the place, so just bear with. I think because I've only got one of each in this little pack, that's what's making my anxiety go, ooh, you best get it right. First time, because if you balls it up, you've not got another one. <laughs> Part of me is wanting to put it so it's like in line with this line going down, but then that will mean that some of it's sticking out, and the rest of me is like, hmm, maybe you should just fold it over. Okay, let's just, let's just... Uh, uh. No, it's wonky, it's wonky, it's wonky, it's wonky, it's stuck. That's it, it's stuck. It's on. Yeah, that's where it's going to be. Is that where I want it? Probably not. Let's see where it closes. Hold on. Oh! Oh no, it is flush. It is flush when I stick it there. Because it's got a cover. Duh! This is what I was, this is what I was panicking about with it. Right, so the, the tab, if my camera focuses, come on dude, come on. 
you got this oh right so the tab you can see is it's still kind of overhanging like it's overhanging from the page can you see that oh no you can't hang on Ugh. can you see it's kind of overhanging from the white paper so I was like oh it's gonna stick out if I stick it there but because the cover is slightly bigger it is actually flush like it's not sticking out it's not gonna get caught on stuff I can do it now I can do it I got this. I like that it goes on the monthly page because it only has one bookmark, this planner, which I'm used to having, I'm used to having two with the Leuchtturm. It means that this can stay on my weekly spread, whichever weekly spread I'm on, and then I can still easily find the monthly spreads with the tabs. I'm going to carry on putting these tabs on, although I'm not going to be able to talk when I'm actually like sticking them down because concentration and brain. I'm not someone who can... Um multitask with things like this. I think when I go to like meets and everything I don't tend to craft at them. So like the big meet and stuff like that, like events types of meets. I swear that wasn't a sentence but you get what I mean. Like when I go to an event we plan a load of workshops and cool things to do whilst we're there. Um, <laughs> but I can't focus. <laughs> My brain doesn't work like that. I can't craft and chat to people so um see i've already lost my train of thought um, so this is why i don't do like i don't know live streams i want to do live streams at some point not whilst i'm living here because stress um but oh i feel like i've stuck that too much that way uh, <laughs> They look funny from that side now. I feel like I've stuck it too far down. Can you come up a little bit? Can you come up a little bit? Come on, Feb. Oh, no, we're ripping. <laughs> so yeah, they definitely they definitely can't be re-taken up very easily. I feel like I've just folded that over a bit too far. Um, I miss going to events, though. I do miss them quite a bit. We've obviously not had any this year. We did do the big meet in... October as a virtual event which that worked pretty well it was quite fun there was a lot of lives and stuff um, and we had Amy come on as well and have a little chat with us all so that was lovely she should still be coming hopefully as long as Covid's gone away <laughs> um, she should still be coming to the actual big meet when we do eventually do it next year again if covid has gone um i am kind of looking forward to making this pretty and not having to draw out any monthly spreads and stuff like that i feel like this video is going to be super long as well i i am i'm someone who doesn't like editing videos because when i talk in my videos i stumble a lot that's why my videos are so edited it's because i am forever stumbling on my words if you hear me say a step step <laughs> There we go. <laughs> that is what I cut out of my videos usually, <laughs> is me saying st n uh, uh. If you hear me say a sentence from start to finish and not have any like cut in it, then just just be aware that I have like patted myself on the back for that because I did it. <laughs> usually I will say something, stumble on it five times and have to cut it out. So far we have managed to get to April in the tabs. I was going to film an unboxing of my um, paper gang box after this, considering I had my camera and stuff set up, but I feel like I'm getting to the gibberish part of the day where I can't say sentences <laughs> properly. So I don't know if that would be a very good idea. Why is May squished? May squished, why? Oh, it's because it's got an extra, that's annoying. So like, can you see that these boxes are that much of my finger <laughs> high? <laughs> these ones though are that much my finger high because we've got a May 31st so it's added like a whole extra week in there so you get less space. So hopefully, fingers crossed May won't be too busy because it's, it's squishier. <laughs> I was meant to give myself time off in December but here I am on Christmas Eve filming a video for my channel so even though it's fun it's still like classed as work because I'm going to be sitting and editing this at some point. I also still need to film my videos for my Patreon for December which I don't mind doing too much because it's 
obviously creative journals and stuff so I get to sit down and do some journaling. It's just the editing that takes so long, especially creative videos because I'll sit and be creative and like do a journaling session um, which could be, some of them take up to like two hours for me to just create the page if I'm, I don't know, having a particularly <laughs> difficult putting together a page kind of day. They just take a lot longer so that means I'll have two hours of footage to go through and that takes time. So that part, I always, I kind of consider the editing part work, whereas the creative journaling part is more just fun and work. I don't know. I don't mind editing. I just don't like it. <laughs> it's just not something I particularly look forward to, shall we say. I think one of the reasons I wanted to get a proper planner, which had like dated pages and dated months, is the fact that I was struggling with the Leuchtturm to properly plan ahead like I had my monthly spreads made um and like written up and stuff but I didn't have them too far in advance I think I did them every three months it just wasn't working all that well in that planner my thing is definitely I'm less stressed when I've got everything like planned ahead and I'm ahead of myself I hate with a passion just like chasing my tail which is what I was doing a lot of the time through 2019 it was I was working month to month so the patreon collections and stuff like that i was designing like literally the month before sending it off to the printers having it arrive the month that it gets sent out and sending it out a month later so i was pretty much only doing that in the month and somehow i had to figure out freelance work and youtube work and shop stuff and all of that it's just kind of fitting around it and i barely had any chill time this year i have been better I've had a bit more chill time, obviously. <laughs> I haven't left the house for much of it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've like, I don't know, I've just been better at managing my time in that sense. Like I've figured out how much time things take and then I've allocated that time a bit better rather than going, Mm, I've got a week to do all of this work in. I should be able to do it. And then it getting to like two days before deadlines and going, okay, I have to do it now, whether I like it or not. I feel like I've rambled so much. I'm hoping that you guys aren't like sitting and watching this without doing something else at the same time. It's just the type of video that you can stick on in the background and feel like we're just setting up our planners together. If you're not using a passion planner for 2021, I do want to know what you're using as well. I don't just want to know if you're using a passion planner. I remember seeing something on Facebook earlier in the year that was like, um, I'm not gonna buy a 2021 planner until I've seen the trailer. Because obviously most people this year bought planners for 2020 and just didn't use them because there wasn't anything to do. They're not sticking out too much, are they? Oh, I feel like some are sticking out further than the others. Oh, June, why are you sticking out so much? Oh, that's gonna annoy me, some of them are wonky. Some of them are wonky. <laughs> this is honestly so much more fiddly than I thought it would be. Oh no, and I'm ripping it. <laughs> I could have completely done this wrong. Oh, that's ripping as well. Don't rip on me. Oh, bugger it. I think I'm just gonna have to leave it like that. If not, I'm gonna rip the whole thing up. Oh, that looks so bad. Maybe I should have just done this whilst I was like concentrating rather than chatting. This is what I mean. I can't, I can't multitask. I might just have to get over it and just do it. Look at that. Can you see? Some of them have, some of them have broken out more than they should. I tried so hard to get them straight. Ah, uh, well, is what it is. Some are sticking out. S some aren't. <laughs> that June one though. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to rehash the June and July, I think because they're sticking out quite a bit more. This is me trying to convince myself that it's fine. I mean, they're pretty good. They're not horrendous. They are pretty good. They're pretty straight. This is what I'm stressing about that I probably shouldn't be stressing about, but can you see how these middle ones are poking out more than these ones? And I know it could be the pages, but I'm trying to keep them like as straight and neat as possible. Can you see what's happening? They're just, they're just a bit, a bit 
Ooh. So I want them to be all like September one. I'm gonna try and squish down as many of these as possible. I'm gonna pause for a minute. After a lot of faffing, I have managed to get my tabs flush. I highly recommend not trying to make them almost flush because then they become uneven and stress you out and then you just want them flush and then they are already stuck on there. And so when you try to take them off, they take half the paper off. And then the stickiness comes off of the actual tab, so you have to use a little double-sided sticky tape thingy to re-stick them. One of them rips. Try not to stress. Oh my god. Oh. They might look a little bit dented, a little bit, you know, might have been pulled off and restuck. But they're flush, they're even. They do have the grey bit showing, which is why I was trying to make them flush but not quite flush. I don't know if you can see on September, it's kind of got a bit of grey in the corner. And the same with that corner. It's really, really hard to actually see. So I probably shouldn't have messed around with it. I was trying to make sure the rounded corners were showing. I was basically just being fussy. And it backfired on me. And I had to redo them. And now some of them are a bit funky looking. And I got all the way to January, like, re-sticking them. Um, and then January's one, I managed to rip in half. They look like they've gone through some sort of punching machine. But it's fine, okay? They're in there. Um, and they're straight. The fact that they're a bit battered doesn't actually bother me because they're gonna get more battered as I use the planner. Um, but the uneven, like, wonkiness of them on the edge, that bit would have irritated me every single time I use the planner. So I'm glad I did redo them. But learn from me, um, they do not come up easily. Once they are stuck, they are stuck. Which makes sense because they're tabs, they're not meant to be, like, restuck anyway they're in there we're all good Ooh, i'm excited to stop using this now i am going to quickly look through these stickers before i finish the video because stickers we all love stickers i might use some of these in here but i think i am going to try and keep this planner like i did my other planner last year or this year 2020 planner i kept it quite uh functional so i was color coding things and stuff like that it wasn't super decorated it was just easy for me to understand and use, which is what I need from a planner. That's something I've definitely realised. I might stick a couple of these in. First of all, we're going to have a little sniff. Oh, they smell like bubbles. This is the Nature sticker book. It has 806 adhesive stickers on 30 sheets. So these are the stickers in there. Oh, there's so few. Oh my goodness. Some of them are foiled as well. They're just, they're just really nice. So these are like outdoorsy, naturey. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll get to use some of them to document outside things in 2021. We'll see. If not, we have this one, which is the self-care sticker book. This one has 656 adhesive stickers on 30 sheets. So here's a little look at what's in this one. So yeah, these are much more homey ones, not so many outsidey ones. Um, they're really, really cute. I don't know which one I like more. <laughs> I think I like... I like um, um, oh I like them both I think there's more in there that I would use like for, at first glance I see them and I'm like yeah I could definitely use those in my journals um, but these ones some of these ones are making me think maybe I should use some of these in my planner I don't know anyway those are the two sticker books just a little quick flip through so yeah this is my new planner for 2021 it's a passion planner I'm new to it clearly <laughs> thank you so much again sam for basically gifting me this <laughs> as a christmas present like i said at the start i'll leave her passion planner links and stuff below she's pretty much the main reason i chose this planner for 2021 i'm gonna finish this video here i am knackered i <laughs> have had to work around bonnie making noises my dad having conversation downstairs my mom hoovering and i'm just i'm just ready to finish filming hopefully you've enjoyed this little chatty first look I suppose at the planner that I'm using for 2021. I don't think I'll do many planner videos on it just because I don't tend to do that sort of content anymore plus my planners are very personal I have a lot of stuff in there that I can't really share but I'll probably end up sharing a few photos on my Instagram as and when I'm using it so if you want to keep in the loop on how I'm finding it and how I'm using it um Instagram is probably the best place for that if you have any questions let me know below also let me know what planner you're using for 2021 and I mentioned that before as well. I am genuinely curious as to <laughs> what people are using now. But yeah, as always, thank you all so much for watching. And a special thank you to all my patrons as well. If you're a patron on any of my tiers, your name is currently on the screen. And I'll see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.